I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from the textbook. Now some of my students have been wondering why I have not taken up these questions in my videos. Well the only reason is that the question itself is so long that it takes half of my page I am not left with any place to show you the solution. But on repeated request I thought I will take a couple of examples. Here is the first one which is variation of temperature and the second one will be on uh, Ferris wheel and these examples I hope will help my students to model real life situations in trigonometric functions. So the question here is the city of Thunder Bay Ontario has average monthly temperatures that vary between minus 14.8 degrees centigrade and 17.6 degrees centigrade. The following table gives the average monthly temperatures averaged over many years. Determine the equation of the sine function that describes the data and use your equation to determine the times that the temperature is below 0 degree centigrade. So I'll do a part of this solution but I'll explain you the concept which I think is more important to understand. Now as you know in one year there are 365 days so when you are given months and date data like this you can consider uh, counting days like 30, 60, 90, 120 likewise right so you, you'll kind of end up with 360 days but that's fine uh, you know it's 365 days now that's one thing second thing is maximum and minimum values will actually give you the amplitude and the phase shift right so let's start with the we are starting with the minimum value and maximum value so maximum value for us is 17.6 degrees centigrade minimum is minus 14.8 degrees centigrade now this maximum and minimum value will give you amplitude and the phase shift right so amplitude is equals to difference of these two divided by 2 so which is 17.6 minus minus 14.8 divided by 2 right so use your calculator in solving such questions 17.6 minus minus let me write 17.6 uh, plus 14.8 divided by 2 equals to and in decimals 16.2 is the amplitude okay now Horizontal translation is the average value of these two. So let us write the horizontal translation as, let me first write down the equation which I want to write for this function, which is f of x equals to, you need a sine function, correct? So we say a times sine within brackets k. Now time, let's write t minus p the phase shift uh, plus q. So Q is my variable for excess. So it is average value. So we have to add them up. 17.6 plus minus 14.8 divided by 2. That gives you what? So that is 17.6 minus 14.8 equals to divide by 2 equals to change to decimals 1.4. So we get 1.4 as the value of the Q. Now we have to consider k. k is related with time period. So we are working, if you are working in radians, k will be 2 pi divided by the time. Now all these seasonal things you have to take days as 365 days. Okay, So there are 365 days in a year. So we have a time period t which is 365, oh, 365 days, right? So that really means that the k value should be equals to 2 pi divided by 365, right? So I'm not calculating this. I'll keep it as such. So you do the rest of the calculations. Now the most difficult part here is to figure out what is the value of p. Now to find p, since you need to write as a sine function, you know your axis is how much? Let's, let's highlight these some values your axis is 1.5 right so when you are writing a sine wave in that case you're looking for a point which is on the axis 
and it's rising, kind of rising. That is how the sine wave is, right? On the axis and rising. So close to 1.5 is somewhere here, you can see that, right? So you expect P value to be around this place. So that gives you kind of an idea. Why am I saying so? Sometimes you're running out of time when you're writing solution of your questions, right? Or you may not really get to know how to find it really, right? You can write an approximate value. You know for sure it is kind of less than 120, right? But more than 90. So if you write a very close to this, you will not be very wrong. And save time sometimes in your test and that's a huge tip, okay? So, but now let's try to figure out how to really find it, right? If you have time to find it and if you can really do the calculations, which I find sometimes difficult, then what we can do is we can use f of x as 2.5 and t as 120, right? That is also debatable, but okay, let's use these values. Find some answer and then write down one equation. So we really have an equation which I could write as f of x equals to a 16.2 sine of and k is 2 pi over 365 perfect t. So I'm keeping t minus p as such now plus q which is 1.4 right. Now to find the value of p what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this point where time is 120 and the value in is 2.5. So if I write 2.5 here I get 2.5 equals to 16.2 sine of 2 pi over 365. Now time is 120 so I'll write 120 minus p plus 1.4. Now we need to solve this equation to find the value of p. Okay, so let me try to solve this equation in the limited space I have. If required, we can just push the page slightly forward. So first step is you take away 1.5, then divide by 16.2, then 2 sine inverse, right? You'll get all this. Then multiply by 365, divide by 2 pi, okay, then bring p to the left side and whatever you get here, bring it to the right side, 120 minus that value will give you p. These are the steps which you need to follow. I hope you can go through this part again and follow these steps to get the answer. Pause the video, get the answer, okay. Now here are simple calculations which I'll try to do uh, and then see what happens. So one. So we are bringing 1.4 here, so we get 2.5 minus 1.4, dividing by 16.2, 16.2. Then whatever we get is really sine of all this. So let me write this as sine of, uh, let's say, some value A. Got it? Now the next step is do sine inverse, right? And when you do sine inverse, you get a. So A is actually sine inverse of all this. Is it okay? All this. So, so let me do this here just to show you some values which are not very difficult to calculate. Remember your calculator should be in radians. Okay. Minus 1.4 equals to divided by 16.2 equals to. Then you do sine inverse. So shift sine function and you can put in the answer there. And when you do sine inverse, you get <coughs> value of A, which is, okay, let me write the value of A itself. So A is 0 0.67953. Okay, so I have written A as shown you. Now this value of A is actually equal to 2 pi over 365, 120 minus P. Okay, so what we get here is 0 0.6, I mean 0 0.06 seven nine five okay four decimal places of five are good enough equals to two pi divided by 365 times 120 minus p i hope you understand that all right so from here let me now push this a bit we need to now multiply by 365 divide by two pi correct bring p here take away from 120 correct okay so what i'm trying to say here is is this so what we will do is 0 0.06795 will multiply by 365 divide by 2 pi 
then what we get is 120 minus p is that okay so let's do this part so we have this we'll multiply by 365 divide by 2 divide by pi and then we get 3.947 okay so we get 120 minus point as 3.947 is that okay bring p to the right side so that you can p and we get 120 minus uh, let me write this as 4 is that okay 3.9 is 4 so 120 minus 4 is 116 right so this is what p is so once you get the value of p substitute so you get your final answer which is f of x equals to 16.2 sine 2 pi divided by let me push a bit more I know my boundary is here anyway 365 so when I record I'm not seeing what I'm recording so t is now t right and p is 116 116 and you know my videos are never edited so 1.4 so that is how you could write down the answer great you can check these calculations sometimes my calculations could be wrong because I'm not very good at using calculator I really avoid but I hope with this you understand the method of doing it right so I really wanted to show you the method I have provided some links with this solution which are similar kind of questions and Maria I would like you to uh, click at those links solve those questions yourself and then check your answer this should help you to really answer any similar question I mean uh, real life situation where we are giving variations with respect to days in a year examples on tide right and all those questions could be solved in this manner I hope that helps thank you and all the best